Any Tiger Stop can be enhanced with touchscreen technology using Tiger Touch. Tiger Touch can simplify any process by putting control at your fingertips. So we're going to go over our move functions now. So you just press the move uh, key and that'll bring you over to the screen. Um, what this is, is simply typing in your position that you want to go to and then pressing start and you'll be able to move to that position. So this is where you're using the Tiger Stop more manually using Tiger Touch. Now we can program in offsets and we have a couple of fractionated uh, offsets in the first screen here and then we have multiple screens that we can go through to add our own offsets. Uh, as you can see here we have a positive offset of 2.25 inches, a negative offset of again 2.25 inches. Uh, when you press those it just applies up at the top and so would then uh, add to whatever or subtract from whatever position you end up going to. We're also able to use the go to functions. So if I were to press this button, have it go to the 46.125. Uh, to edit these is pretty simple. You press and hold, it brings up your edit screen. Uh, you're able to change the color to whatever it is that you want, uh, change the name, put in your value, and then we've even provided a space where you can add in an icon, tell it if we want to move to that position, add as an offset and move, or apply as an offset, either positive or negative. Using Tiger Touch, we're able to load up cut lists uh, very quickly, very easily, and run them. Uh, you can see here that we have a spot for three cut lists, and we can load all three at the same time, although we will only run one. So I'll show you what that looks like quickly. So we'll fill all of these spots here. Okay, and you can see that we have three different cut lists. We're able to swap between them by hitting the swap button. Uh, when you hit swap button, it brings that list over to the left and the far left is where we're gonna run from. Now you can open that up as well and see the rest of the information on each list. Uh, we're able to edit, uh, very easily go in and tell it if we wanna do an optimized list push feed, set point, or pack and panel. So when we run a job, and we'll run this one here first, go ahead and run that. We're gonna put in 240 for our stock length and press start. It optimizes down here below and it shows you as it's cutting the parts out. It also runs through the parts on the screen uh, as we're going through them. Uh, when it's done, it'll bring up the same stock length that we had prior and ask if you want to run so you can quickly hit enter, press start, and then run through that list. So once we've downloaded our list, your operator can very easily look on our statistics and see exactly how much material they will need to run this job. So that way they'll know what material, how much to pull for the job. This also shows your yield and it will give a running tally as you run through the job of your current yield and at the end what your total yield was. Uh, it will also give you any remnant pieces that you have left as well as your total pieces, the pieces remaining, and your longest and shortest piece. As we run this job, and we'll just do that with that screen open, then you'll see as we run down here, we're cutting parts, uh, we're running through on the screen what parts are disappearing and you can see that our yield is changing as well as our uh, material remaining. So in the settings menu here we can change our material view from uh, wood lined to uh, more metal. We can also change from inches to metric very simply very easily. Here we can change our text size to make it a little easier to read. Once you load your list, your sort field will show down here. So what that does is tells your operator what kind of material they need to grab. Again, they can look at their total material and know how much they need to grab of that material. Uh, we've also added in a feature where we're able to show a picture. So if you have off profiles that you would like your operator to see, you can add that in as well. That's Tiger Touch, the easy to use touchscreen interface from Tiger Stop.